Hey friends, it's Chris with Writing Momentum. Hey, we got a really cool video here that I just wanted to put out here today um, because we're always looking for momentum in our writing, right? How can we write faster, write better, get things done? And one of the aspects of this for today's writing life is to have the right applications on your computer. And every once in a while, I find an application that I'm like, wow, that that one really has saved me time, made things easier for me. And so I wanted to share one of these with you today. It is called Mac Whisper. And so let me, I'll bring it into the window here. This is Mac Whisper and Mac Whisper is a transcription program. Okay. So what it does is it takes content that is audio or video content and it transcribes it for you in real time with its AI. Now, when I say in real time, I mean faster than real time. It, 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 it's very, very quick, as I'll show you here in a moment. Now, this is a Mac-only app. It's only available for the Mac, so if you use a PC, uh, you won't be able to use this. But if you use a Mac, I think you're going to find that this is a very slick, well-polished application that will help you get things done as a writer. Uh, so the uh, price of this is it's free for the basic version. And then they have a pro version here that's uh, about $42 US. And I find that it's worth it to get the pro version. Although I will tell you, I used it for a long time not using the pro version, right? Because the basic version has so many features in it. I think you're going to find, wow, this really does almost everything I need. Um, but the pro version adds some tweaks to it. And some of those I'm going to be showing you today as we go through this. Um, so if you get the basic version, just know that you may have to upgrade to unlock everything that we're talking about. So, uh, this is Mac whisper and it is, as I said, a transcriber. Now, one of the best features of this is not only its accuracy, cause you know, there's a lot of, of online apps out there that do transcribing. Now you can use Otter or you can use hello scribe. Those are all great apps. Um, and I've used, I've used hello scribe for years, but this one is unique because it is does all of the transcribing on your Mac itself. So if you're concerned about, hey, you know, I, I record a uh, personal journal every morning and I want to transcribe it, but I really don't want that going out there on the web, right? Because it's private material. Or I have a client who's super concerned about his material getting out. So I don't know that I want to upload it to a service. This is the kind of app that can help you with that. But also those services all cost money every single month, right? They have subscriptions. This one does not have a subscription. It's one of the few apps probably left that actually let you use it. When you purchase it, you've purchased it for life, right? What, what, whatever that means. But um, I, it's, so I've never had to pay for an upgrade. They've done upgrades over time. So I, I assume it truly is for life. Uh, it has a lot of features. You can read about these here on the webpage. And, um, uh, I will, uh, create a short link for this. It will be, uh, wmdeal.com slash Mac whisper. That'll take you right to this page. Now that is not an affiliate link. They don't even have an affiliate program. So I'm just sharing this cause I, I like it so much. So let's go ahead and jump into the program itself. So I'm going to move that window aside and here is Mac whisper. It's pretty simple when you open it up, right? There's nothing flashy here. Uh, it does keep a history of everything you've done in the past over here on the left-hand pane. I don't have anything in here because I cleared mine all out before recording this video. But it will keep you a history, which is nice. Now, if you want to, you can just drag a file in here. So here I have an MP4 file. If I drag that and drop that in there, this is me teaching, it will automatically transcribe that file just by dropping it. And I'll do that in a moment. But I want to show you, you can drag and drop MP3, WAV, M4A, MP4, OGG, AAC, and movie files. These are pretty much all the standard audio and visual files you'd probably run across anyway. And if you just drop one on here, it'll transcribe it. Um, and so before we actually do one, let me just show you a few of the features of what you can do. So if you click open files, this is where you can open a file like I just dragged on top of here, only this will search your uh, Mac for that file, you see, whereas, um, I just dragged one on there. So either way that does the same thing. It, it, it transcribes a file on your Mac new recording. This is kind of cool. If I hit new recording, it will record as I talk 
and then transcribe that. Batch transcription is where you can take multiple files. So if you have a whole folder of files, you can take and dump them in here and it'll batch, transcri batch transcribe them, which is really cool. Uh, it saves you a lot of time. Um, record app audio. This is interesting. Let's say you're attending a, um, a, a meeting or a session or, or a training or something and you're like, okay, I don't have any way to download this. I just want to make sure that I, I get this audio from this. Make sure you have the person's permission that you're recording from, but you can hit record and it'll record the audio that's coming out of that application. So this, this works with pretty much any app that's on your Mac. It will record the audio and then transcribe it. Cloud transcription. Okay. So this is where if you want, you can upload files to the cloud. This is part of the pro plan, I believe. And it will, using OpenAI, as long as you've got your OpenAI key in here, it will transcribe it on the cloud, which can sometimes be a bit faster. Um, uh, they say here is it uploaded for the fastest transcription, it says. So if you want to do that, you can. I've never used that because I just would prefer to do it on my, on my Mac itself. Transcribe a podcast. I believe this is in beta right now. I believe what they're doing is they're going to... Um, uh, it says you can add audio files for each host and automatically transcribe them into a combined transcription of speaker la labels. So if you record, like I'm recording on Ecamm here, and I can have separate audio for each person who's talking in the meeting, this can take that and put it together into a transcription. Um, uh, global, this is kind of interesting. So you know how you've got this little pop-up if you hit it on your Mac and it'll do stuff for you, right? you can have a global pop-up for Mac Whisper that'll pop up and you can just automatically have a start recording and transcribing like your voice if you want, if you want a faster way to do it. I don't do that personally. Um, it's also up here in the, um, uh, in the, in the, what do you call it? The menu bar. And you can click on the link up there and it will automatically start transcribing also. And let me see if I can do that for you. So if I click, uh, you can't see this in my other window. But if I click that, it'll automatically start transcribing. It's just a button you push up in your Mac menu bar. Okay, and then manage models. Finally, this is where they have multiple models. So if I click manage models, you'll see that I am currently using the large model. This is a pro feature. So you'd have to uh, get the, uh, not the subscription. They have to do the one-time payment for this. But this has the highest quality transcription. And it says it's one of the lower speeds. I actually find it pretty quick, as I'll show you here in a moment. We'll go and do one together. Um, but uh, if you need it, if you, if you don't mind sacrificing a little quality for speed, you could go for like this medium model here or a small model or the base model. It, by the way, comes with the base and small model on the trial or the basic version that you don't have to pay for on Mac Whisper. So it's, it's up to you what you do. I kind of feel like, gee, if I've paid for the program and I've got the pro version, I might as well get the highest quality, even if I have to wait an extra few minutes to get a transcription done. I've not found it much of an issue. I'm going to show you it transcribing with this large language model, and you can see how long it takes here in real time. Okay, so that's basically the program. Of course, there's all kinds of settings. In fact, when I say all kinds of settings, I'm going to go up here to the menu and show you there are all kinds of of settings that you can set for this app. So you can really get into this and you can do find replace and, and add speakers in here and, and say where it's recording from, change the font size, change timestamps, all kinds of things. I'm not gonna get into all that. Just know that there are a tremendous amount of settings that you can work with. And if you don't find something in this app that you'd like, the developer is very responsive to um, uh, putting in new features and to responding to what the community wants. And so you can just send them an email and they will respond to that. So let's go ahead and try this once. We'll try it first with one of my own recordings. This is a five minute recording, okay? So I, I could hit open files, but I'm just gonna drag that file that I showed you earlier and I'm gonna drop it onto Mac Whisper. And when I do, it's going to start by transcribing this video. Now, this is a video file, okay? I'm talking actively in the file. And as you can see here, I'm talking about graphic novels. And this is putting it into what's called a um, segment flow. So 
it's going to break it up by five second segments is essentially what it's doing. Sometimes less, if it sees me finish a sentence, it'll, it'll stop it as it does here. And it's just going to keep doing that until it's done. Now, this again was a five minute video. It's already half done in these few seconds that I've been recording here on the largest language model. If this were the small model, it'd probably already be done. But um, I don't uh, want to show you that. I want to show you the most accurate transcription so that you can see how good it is. Uh, let's just wait just a few seconds until it's finally done. We're at 98, 99, and 100. So it's done now. So it's showing you that it's a, um, uh, it took 56 seconds. Uh, I can download this if I want to into um, uh, my computer. I can, um, again, you, you can change a lot of things. But here's what's kind of cool. If I hit play, you see how it's moving automatically with my voice? And it keeps my video up there in the corner, which is pretty cool. So I can actually watch my video or jump to a section of the video if I want to and make sure that all these words match. This is a feature that I've seen on Otter and in Happy Scribe. I was a little surprised to see this in this app. That's really slick because I like having the video there with me when I'm looking at the transcription because sometimes if I'm for instance, writing for a client and they've got a video that they want me to write something from. I want to be sure to quote them correctly and also kind of get it in the tone that they're using. And so if I find a good quote, I will then click to that space and watch that portion of the video just to make sure I'm getting it correctly. And this allows you to do that. Now, if you don't like this presentation, you can also choose the transcript presentation. And this also breaks it up basically by sentence and every sentence becomes a new line again very slick very easy to find things with um you can go through here read it you can copy it you can paste it all that good stuff uh it did incorrectly uh write my name here and uh you can help train it a little bit to get that kind of thing right um and then you can export and you can export the full transcript into text doc, HTML or PDF file. So you can put it right in a word document if you want. Um, you can export subtitles. If you're using wanting to upload something like to YouTube, let's say you can take and um, get segments of the file. And then uh, I don't even know what dot is. I'm sure that's something to do with transcriptions or something like that. Uh, this is kind of interesting too. You can also tell it to translate it to another language, right? They crazy. Let's go down here and say, translate that to Spanish. It's now going to take an over here on the right instantly like that. It translates the entire um, 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 transcript into Spanish. That's crazy, isn't it? And this is all in this app for about $42. Uh, just amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original now. And um, what I want to show you, which is to me the last great feature of the program. Well, one more. You can search your transcript. So if I want to search for like Drew, it's going to bring me right to Nancy Drew and I can uh, find that kind of stuff easy. But yeah, the last great thing I want to show you, you may have noticed there's a button up here called AI. So this is where they have built in AI features into this transcription program. You do have to connect your open AI uh, API key. It's completely free. Open AI has an API key that you can grab. If you sign up for a free account, you can put it in other programs. Uh, I do believe you have to um, pre-bank some money in OpenAI for that. I put in $5 about three months ago, and I have never paid more for OpenAI because every one of the things that we're going to have it do here takes literally like pennies of pennies, right? It takes just a fraction of cents to make most of these things happen. So your $5 will last a long, long time. So here's what's cool about this is you can choose the model that you want to have it um, uh, used as your AI. I recommend GPT-4.0. To me, that's worked really well. And what this will do is it will make actions happen on this transcript. Okay, so let me give you an example. So let's say I, I say, you know, I'd really like you to summarize this transcript for me because I want to have something that I can put on YouTube as the description. So you click Summarize. And here's, here's the word, summarize this transcript. And then I hit submit. 
And when I do, it automatically summarizes the transcript. Christopher Maselli, writing Momentum, discusses the growing popularity of graphic novels, particularly in children's literature. He explains that graphic novels are essentially extended comic books, often around 100 pages with full-fledged stories, multiple characters, and abundant dialogue, etc. Um, really very good, right? And so then if I like that, what I can do is I can copy it and then paste it into my YouTube description. But there's so much more. Let's say I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know, I'd like to have some discussion questions. Let's say you've got a chapter of your book, right, that you've that you've transcribed and you're like, I'd like to have some discussion questions from this training. So you click extract, extract questions. Oh, no, wait, wait, sorry. This is extracting all the questions asked in this, asked in this manuscript. And I hit submit. It looks like I have one question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was not that difficult. Um, I... And then I can, I mean, there's all kinds of things, as you can see here. I can grab bullet points. These are the bullet points. Turn this transcript into a bullet point summary. I'm going to close this preview window. And then it hits stop. And now here's the bullets from this transcript. Okay, these are all my main points that I cover. This is great if you ever do a talk and you record it and you want to go give it again somewhere and you need to have your bullet points. This is a great way to get that. It's also a great way if, you've, if you're writing an article uh, on someone or for someone and you want to have all their main points, um, you can tell it you want it to split the original manuscript into paragraphs, and it will do that. All right, so it's a lot easier to read. I'm going to stop that. Um, uh, you can create email subject lines in case I want to put this in an email. Here's some great subject lines. Here's, I'm going to stop generating that. Here's the key points. Right? So there's so much that this has. And notice it's using Markdown as it does these. So if you paste it in something like Obsidian, it will automatically recognize that. But here's the other thing that's really great about this being AI. These are just shortcuts. By the way, you can create some of these of your own, but you can put anything in here you want. So remember when I said, oh, these questions are for creating discussion questions? Well, let's say that. Uh, create five discussion questions based on this transcript and then I hit and it's going to give me five how does Christopher Maselli address the misconception that one must be an artist to write a graphic novel what does he suggest instead great discussion question right and so these can be some really great bounce off point for you to draw your own material from or for you to use as um, uh, source material and research material I've created one here I work with a lot of um, uh, pastors and ministers who use uh, scriptures in their trainings and they'll have a 45 page transcript of their training and i just want to get to know what are the scriptures they use right what did they use because i need to have those separately so i've created a prompt here that says you list the scriptures used in this manuscript if possible add a translation after each scripture point out print out the scripture in the translation used in the transcript in other words go ahead and give me all the scriptures with the translation that's used in the manuscript that the, that the person talked and it'll just spit them out right there. I used to spend a lot of time doing that or I would pay a VA to do that, right? No longer. Now I just click a button, boom, it's done really, really slick. And again, you can save these. So if you find a prompt that really works well for you, something that you want, let's say that like you would like to have a tweet based on this. So, so you just recorded this, you're gonna put it online and you'd like to have a tweet about it. So you can say, uh, create a, tweet about this okay let's say say create five tweets my spelling with hashtags and then i hit submit and it's automatically going to go ahead and create the tweets it's even putting emojis in there you can tell it no emojis if you want and it's got everything i need and i copy that paste that in twitter this is a great program this is only for the Mac. It's called Mac Whisper. Go to wmdeal.com slash Mac Whisper. It's a short link I'm creating for you. Again, this is not an affiliate one. I do offer affiliate products once in a while that I really like. This one is just one I just like and had to share. And I encourage you to check it out because I think if you're a writer, this will help give you momentum. And so I hope you've enjoyed this. If this video has been helpful, will you please let me know by leaving a comment or clicking the like or subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more of these. I'm just starting to try out doing some of these uh, app for authors videos. And if you find this is something you like, I'd like to know that. So then that'll let me know, hey, I need to do more of these. Uh, so anyway, until next time, remember that together 
we have writing momentum. Bye-bye.